As always, welcome back to some more MX versus ATV Supercross Encore. And today I think we're going to check out another DLC track. Now lately I've been going back and picking up some of the DLCs that I had on the 360 for the Encore version. I just picked up, I think it's Supercross Track Pack 1 with Chicago, St. Louis, Savannah, and Albany. Uh, they feel like new tracks to me because it's been months and months and months since I last played on the 360. So it's kind of like learning a new track. Chicago's a lot of fun. Why don't we go there all time, four laps, and start this. Now... I've rode here a couple times and the AI can be like, sometimes they're really tough here and sometimes they're really, really easy. So I've had it both ways. Not sure what we'll get this time. There's also a couple really big lines here. Not terribly realistic and I don't really think they're faster because you're in the air so much, but uh, they're really fun. So if I have the chance or I feel like I can hit it, if I get a good run through the section, we'll try and hit them. If not, we'll save it for another day, I guess. I think you could probably quad that too, but I'm not 100% sure. This inside rut here, that works pretty nice. There's a better way through that section, but I struggle with that there. Who else thought we were going to totally loop through that section? Oh no! We saved that horrible wheelie and then over jumped that. What are you talking about? Don't do this to me. Alright, we're still in the lead. That guy messed up that corner, so let's see if we can pull a gap. There we go. Oh! Ooh, we were out of control, but that's what I'm talking about. And again, I think you can get that section too. We didn't get... I don't think I got a full preload. Maybe we'll try next time when we come back around, but miss it that time. And then we come up short on this triple. We need to get back into our flow. Got a one second lead. I've never hit that line before. I've never hit that line. That was sick. We got around that corner really, 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 really good though. We are getting so out of control trying for that quad. I think I'm done doing that. I think I'm just gonna stick to the normal line. But it's still it's still a really fun line to take. Again, not the most realistic one. But it's still fun. Starting to pull a pretty good gap on them. I haven't really looked at that until right now. About a wow, six seconds. A 
Last lap. Oh, and we almost got the inside line. What? Well, we didn't get over it cleanly, but... We still got over it. You know, I hit that line that one time, and I'd never done it before, and now I can't do it again. And we have a giant lead. So it's one of those times where the AI is just really not that, not that crazy tough here. And for the win. So that went pretty good. I. The thing that surprises me most is I've never hit that one line through that back section. We actually got over... I think we did one more in there. I don't know what that was. Was that five or was that six? I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look. I think that was five, but that was a fun one. I mean, we kind of blew out the AI. Like I said, it's kind of hit and miss. Sometimes they're tough there. Sometimes they're not that bad. And we didn't even ride that good, but we were able to get some of those big lines. We came up short on that one section, I think, once or twice, so... Not the greatest laps, not the greatest race, but still, uh, it was fun trying to hit some of those big lines. So, thank you so much for the support on this series. Uh, I did run the red number plate. I remembered, I think there was one person that wanted to see the red number plate on a Honda, but at the time, they hadn't come out with the Honda skins yet. So, ran the red number plate for at least that one person. Uh, oh, yeah, and before I forget, we'll do this really, really quick. Um, I think there was a couple people asking to see the graphics kits, so... Here you go. They're basically the same as they would be with the stock bikes. There's nothing too crazy about it. I think one of them still has the CRF logo on it. I think it's this one. Right in the middle. I think it says CRF still. So they look pretty cool. I, I maybe switch up eventually, but right now I prefer to run the stock graphics. And everything else is the same as it would be originally in the game. The only other thing that's different, at least for the CRF, is the exhaust. And the only exhaust you can run a single like muffler on tailpipe whatever you want to call it would be the the pro circuit everything else is just the duels so we're running the debak titanium carbon fiber and yeah everything else is the same nothing else is different from the original game it would be nice to see a little more customization but i'm not going to complain i'm pretty happy i think the bikes look great and i'm really happy with the game so thank you so much for the support on this series it really means a lot you guys and girls are absolutely amazing as always and until the next video, take it easy.